Assalamu alaikum guys. In this video, I want to share with you my five best productivity hacks for Muslim business owners. How do I stay productive and achieve more in a day than most people achieve in a week? I'm going to share with you all my secrets and share with you how you can spend your evenings and weekends with friends and family instead of working overtime because you couldn't complete your tasks. Let's dive in. So the first hack that I have for you is to schedule your day in advance. This is so important guys for making sure that you're able to work through your day efficiently and get through your tasks quickly because it lets you know exactly what you should be working on and when you should be working on them. So what I like to do is I like to wake up in the morning and open up my planner. You can really buy any planner on Amazon. It doesn't matter. Any planner will have these basic things. They'll have the days they'll have. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it has the days mapped out and you can essentially write down in detail what you're working on and at what time you can really break down your to do list. You have a little to do list here on the right and you have even a habit tracker and some planners will have a few extra things like a gratitude box, which is awesome. And I love those. And it's important to find one that works for you. So check out Amazon and see what planner is available, but it's so important to schedule your day in advance. And the reason why when we wake up and we don't know what we're going to be working on, and then it comes to sitting down on your computer and you're like, okay, let's go, let's get to work. But what should I be doing? And what happens is now you're being reactive instead of proactive. You're reacting to tasks that come up and emails that get sent to you and people that reach out. Hey, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? Instead of being proactive and yourself dictating your time and you can crush through your day in a matter of a few hours instead of working overtime and spending all these extra hours because you had to react to hundred emails and people that were reaching out to you and messaging you. Hack number two is to use a task management software. These are apps like Asana or Trello or Notion. And these are apps where you can create tasks, you can add images and files, and you can put in deadlines, which is really cool. And these free apps, what they allow you to do is, I like to use my schedule for really mapping out my day, mapping out my time. So I'll open this up here. And for example, I'm gonna write on Monday that I'm gonna work between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. on social media. And then I'm gonna open up my Asana where I have all my detailed tasks listed out. And I'm going to see, okay, this is what I need to put out today for social media. So all the details, all the, the specific to do list is stored online where I can modify it pretty easily. I can set deadlines and all these cool stuff. And the schedule is mapped in the planner. And this is a great combination that really allows you to get the most of your day and be as efficient and as productive as possible. Tip number three for you guys is you want to take your phone and you want to actually put it on silent, bam, put it in here and close it. Essentially your phone is a distraction. Let's be honest, right? So what's going to happen is you're going to be working on your business and you're going to be focused on a specific task and you're going to be doing great progress. And then what happens? Someone sends a message, someone calls you and bam, you're immediately snapped out of it. And now it takes you 30 to 40 minutes to get back into the zone so you can really be efficient and productive on your work. So to avoid that, I simply just put my phone on silent and I put it in my drawer where it's away from me and I can't see it. Because let me tell you guys, to get to that state of deep work where you're extremely focused, takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So imagine if you're getting a text message, you're opening up your phone every five, 10 minutes, that essentially is preventing you from ever getting to a state where you can maximize your productivity, where you can get the most and the best amount of work done in that deep work state. So it's important to put your phone away, put it in a drawer, guys. This is an awesome hack to make sure that you can get into that deep work state, that flow state where you can get the best work done in the shortest amount of time. My fourth hack that really allowed me to maximize my productivity for the day is to schedule my breaks and schedule my prayers in advance. As Muslim entrepreneurs and business owners, we have to pray five times a day. And this means we have to get up and make time for Dhuhr prayer and for Asr prayer and for Mahri prayer. And these prayers are usually in the middle of the day. So what I like to do is I like to schedule the prayers, the breaks in advance so that it's not an afterthought where I'm super focused on a task. I'm really focused on my work. And then what happens is I realize, oh, wow, there's only 20 minutes left for prayer and I got to get up and go and I lose my concentration and focus. So what I like to do instead is I'll schedule my breaks 
and my prayers together, I'll bundle them together so that, for example, when it's Dhuhr time, I'll get up, I'll have lunch, I'll pray Dhuhr and I'll come back. And then when it's Asr time, I'll get up, I'll have a snack, I'll pray and then I'll come back. And that allows me to combine my breaks and prayers and that's kind of my off time where I recharge and so then I can fully focus on working on my business. I don't have to let breaks kind of break my concentration and interrupt that deep work state that I'm trying to achieve to really uh, get my best work out there. And the fifth and final hack that I have for you guys is to reverse engineer your tasks based on your goals. Because it's not just about working hard, but you have to work smart. So if you're watching this video, you might wanna be more productive so that you can get more done, you can complete your to-do list a little bit faster, but it's important to really take a minute and examine is this really important? Do I have to do this now? And does this contribute to my business goals as a Muslim business owner, as a Muslim entrepreneur? So you wanna reverse engineer based on your goals. If your goal is, I wanna get five more clients every single month, well, what do you need to do to get those five clients? All right? Do you need to send more emails? Do you, do you need to connect with potential clients every day? Do you need to you know, post on Facebook or post on Instagram and, and share valuable content? What is it that you're gonna be doing to get those clients and reverse engineer based off of those goals what your tasks should be? Because if you find yourself working, you know, spending hours, days, you know, making a beautiful logo when your goal is actually to get more clients, these things don't really match up, right? And so it's important not only to work hard, but to work smart, okay? So make sure that you're actually reverse engineering based off of your goals, what it is that you should be doing that's gonna move your business forward, that's gonna help you get closer to your goals and to the level of success that you wanna achieve, inshallah. So that was it for this video, guys. It was a little bit different. You joined me at my desk today, and I hope that you enjoyed this video of my five best hacks to really increase productivity as a Muslim entrepreneur, as a Muslim business owner. And if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to subscribe and like this video and click that notification bell because every single week I'm gonna release a video like this to help you as a Muslim business owner, as an entrepreneur to really achieve success. So hopefully you enjoyed these videos and if you did, make sure to follow us and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, assalamu alaikum.